In this video, I'll show how to create and launch a playlist in Legends of Learning. After you've gone to login.legendsoflearning.com, click the Teachers box and signed into your account. The next step is to choose the subject you're teaching. Then within that subject, find your learning objective. These are listed according to Next Generation Science Standards. At the top of the learning objective page, you'll find a highlighted game with its description, average time of play, and recommended grades. Click Try Game to play it yourself, and you're always invited to leave feedback. This helps us constantly improve our games. You can also read teacher and student reviews and comments, see related vocabulary, suggested before and after questions, and list of main concepts, and read about game difficulty and suggested uses. To see more games for the learning objective, you can click the All Games tab, or just scroll down. In this list, games marked with a Q contain questions, and those marked M are for subject mastery. Any game you click opens in the Highlight Game tab. When you're ready to build a playlist, you could click New Playlist to start a playlist from scratch, or click Add Game to a Playlist to start a playlist that contains the highlighted game. The Playlist Builder page has two sections, the Playlist Editor and the Playlist Building Blocks, which are games and assessments. In the Playlist Editor, assign the playlist a name, such as Tuesday Period 4. Then use the slider to set the time you want the playlist to take. To fill the playlist, drag and drop the games you want to include. The amount of time allotted for each game is a suggested average time. Some students may go faster and others slower. You can remove a game from the playlist and drag and drop to rearrange game order. An assessment is a set of questions related to the learning objective which students must answer before proceeding in the playlist. To add an assessment, click the Assessments tab, then click New Assessment. Set the number of questions and save. By default, the assessment is added to the end of the playlist, but you can drag and drop it anywhere. If a student completes all of the games and assessments in the playlist and has time remaining before the playlist ends, the student gets free play. During free play, students can choose any game within the learning objective. The Create Student button can be used to add students to your student list. This can also be done on your student's page. Or you can have students create their own usernames when joining a playlist. When your playlist is ready to go, you can launch it right away or just leave it in the editor if you want to launch it later. All playlists are saved in your account whether or not they were launched and you can always get back to a playlist later. If you have a paid account, you can also click Schedule to set the playlist to be live during a set time window, which is useful for assigning a playlist as homework. The Add New Playlist Track button can be used to create an additional playlist for the same launch. Any playlist can be deleted with the X icon. If you wanted to create another playlist for a different launch, Say for a different class later in the day, you would return to the learning objective page and start a new playlist. Now say you're ready to launch that Tuesday period four playlist. You can click your playlist to find it. It's labeled draft because it hasn't been launched yet and you can click open to get it back into the playlist editor. When you're ready to launch the playlist, the default setting is to everyone, which means that any student who has your teacher code can join the playlist. The other way to launch a playlist is to a specific group or groups of students. To launch a to group playlist, you need to have student groups set up in advance, which is done in your students list. But this playlist will be launched to everyone. Your teacher code is what your students use to join your playlists. This code remains the same for all of your playlists, so make sure your students know it. 
You can click launch when ready, or you can wait until your students have signed in with your teacher code. Have your students navigate to login.legendsoflearning.com and click the students box. They should enter your teacher code here. If you haven't yet launched, students will see this wait screen. After you click your launch button, the time starts on the playlist. The students can now choose their learning objective. Then each student signs in. Students who don't yet have a username can click sign up and create a username. Students who already have a username can enter it now. If this were a two-group playlist, the list of students in the group would already be populated. To sign in, each student would find their username on a drop-down list. All students who join any of your playlists appear in your students list, whether they sign up themselves or are added manually by you. Once your students are signed in, game play starts. So now you know the basics of creating and launching a Legends of Learning playlist. You can find additional information on features such as assessments and student groups at lol.desk.com. Next, I'll show what happens after a playlist is launched. Specifically, I'll show what appears on the teacher dashboard screen during play, how you can track student performance, and how to revisit a playlist. While your students are busy with their playlists, you can follow their progress on the teacher dashboard screen. Each student is represented by a dot moving along the progress bar, and you can click a dot to identify the student. Students are also listed below the progress bar on the left side. If a student's dot is red, that means that he or she has navigated away from the playlist. Answers to assessment questions and to any questions in the games themselves appear on the right side, indicating overall class performance. Hovering over a question mark icon shows the overall breakdown of how that question was answered. Clicking on a question mark icon shows how each student answered the question. Clicking question data gives you a downloadable spreadsheet of overall class performance. To view the performance of an individual student, including all of that student's answers, click the student's dot, either in the progress bar or below it. You can remove a student if needed, or use the skip icon to move a student forward to the next game or assessment. You can also pause or stop the playlist. All of your playlists, whether or not they were launched, are saved in your account. To revisit any playlist, you can find it in its learning objective page. Or for a list of all of your playlists, click Playlists at the top of any Legends of Learning page. Your playlists can be sorted by learning objective or by date. You can search for a playlist by name or filter the search for specific learning objectives or student groups. Each playlist has a status icon to indicate whether it was launched or still a draft. There are also icons for playlists that are currently live or scheduled for later. You can filter the list for specific statuses. If a playlist is still a draft, you can open it, which returns it to the playlist editor. Here you can make changes to the playlist or launch it. You can also delete a playlist or duplicate it. If a playlist was launched, you can also delete or duplicate it. Clicking Open for a launched playlist displays the student results. So now you know how playlists work in Legends of Learning. Be sure to visit our help desk or go to lol.desk.com for information on these and any other topics.